Welcome back to a brand new video. So today guys, as you can see by the title and thumbnail of the video, we're going to do the best five modifications you can do to your Mark 8 ST, or any car for that matter, for under £100. Maybe even less, I'll have to calculate it. But, we've got plenty of nice, subtle modifications for this. We've got some visual, some slightly performance enhancing, and uh, yeah, we've got some really good bits. We're going to get them on the car today. You're going to watch, we're going to have a good time. All the parts will be available at B7 Performance, so if you haven't already, make sure you check out B7 Performance. Use discount code NEWCAR for unbeatable savings and discount across the whole range of website. But yeah, nevertheless, let's get into this. Let's start with part one, and uh, let's get some stuff fitted to the car. So what we're going to do to start with, the first modification is going to be an interior modification, and kind of like a performance one, the gear knob. As you can see, this one's all scratched up, dirty, leather's dirty, it's discoloured, it's not nice, it looks a bit cheap and tacky, and it doesn't doesn't suit the interior of the car let's be honest so what we've got to do is unscrew these they can be a bit stiff but they do unscrew just get this off now this has a lift up for reverse style to it whereas um, I know definitely on the Mark 7 and maybe the Mark X I'm not sure the non ST models usually don't have a lift up for reverse they just go in so there is a different type of gear knob but let me show the gear knob we're going to install in today so I bought two out. I bought our ST1, as this obviously is a Fiesta ST. They're a really nice carbon weave. They also are a weighted shifter, so they do feel a lot nicer. Um, I'll lightly fit it. But, so this is how it will look. It's not tightened yet. But as you can see, it's a lot nicer than the original factory one. Um, but we're not fitting that one just yet. But these are on our website if you want to grab one of these yourself. What we're going to be installing is a nice plain one just because I've got the ST1 already in the track car I might swap them over and get bored but I fancy just mixing it up so as you can see we've got completely plain carbon fibre gear knob and these are very very affordable price listed on the website already um, top link description will have them in order of like how this video is but as you see it now matches more with the carbon in the interior um, we also do one with a 6 speed logo plane, an ST logo, an RS logo and if you have a non lift up for reverse, as you see it still works the non lift up for reverse ones we do have as well, they're a different style of knob but they're all on the same listing so if you're looking for a different gear knob we do have them but as you can see this is a lovely interior upgrade, it looks nice, like it's weighted and yeah it just completely transforms this sort of centerpiece of the car and it matches well with the carbons. So now let's get on to the next one. So our second modification is going to be sort of a half one because we've actually fully sold out of Mark 8 steering wheel trims from Ford Fair. We do have new ones. When this video goes live, I will have them in stock, but I needed to get it done as soon as possible as I kept delaying it. And today was the only day I really had the time to do it. So we only have half of it, but we've got the carbon fiber steering wheel trim. As you see, this is standard. And like I said with the previous one, this is all carbon fiber, this is carbon effect, that's real carbon. But this is also carbon fiber effect. So it's a lot cheaper than genuine carbon fiber. Um, the bottom base, I'll have a picture on the screen of what it should fully look like, but they're very easy, just gotta clean these down. I recommend just like using an antiseptic wipe to get all the dust off it, but I'm probably gonna be changing one very soon, so it doesn't really matter. And on the back of these, all you see is there's peelable tape. So I'm gonna peel this tape off now and uh, we'll get this fit to the car. So as you see, I've now peeled all the tape off and then we're going to will stick straight over. I'm not too sure if these fit on the Mark IV Focus or not, as I have seen a few people use them and the, um, the Ford Pumas as well. But we'll just stick that on in there. You can see it matches with that and then we've just got the bottom bit to fit as well. But um, yeah, it's a nice little upgrade. It looks nice in the car. Yeah, it's all good. So now we're going to go on to installing the Mark VIII sequential indicators, which looks sick because these are just boring. If you have a Mark 7 it works, Focus it works, Golf R it works, Audi S3 or whatever it works, like anything with sequential indicators looks better than stock. The headlights come standard with sequential indicators in them, so it proves it needs them. And the tinted effect will look really nice with the paint as well. So if you're looking for indicators, obviously this is definitely a good upgrade and it works on most cars. Most cars these days you can do a sequential indicator upgrade. So to remove the mirror caps on these, um, from what I've seen, you pretty much get a, lead, a trim tool in underneath the cap, pull it all the way around just to release it and then you can sort of just pull it straight out. Some places say you have to remove the glass but there is ways around it. Like one foot eye owners love stuff like this. It, it looks better on everything. Now there is two teeny weeny torque screws I believe in this. I can see one. There's another one somewhere else I think that needs to remove. 
and uh, yeah, then we can get our grading. So I'm gonna get the tools out and we're gonna get this out. So lose the screw. Then, obviously you see it's just got a crappy old bulb in it, not a, nothing nice. Give it a little wiggle and you're out. And then remove the crappy bulb and throw it in the bin because you will not be needing it ever again. So now we've got the marker indicator. Looks a lot nicer, sequential, tinted, looks really cool. And just a plug and play LED one. So it's going to be brighter as well, which obviously you want to be able to be seen as much as possible with an indicator. It's kind of the purpose. Plugs directly in. Just keep the wiring out of the way. Slot this in place. The hole will line up for your screw. Easy as that. Now I've got a nice sequential indicator. I want, I'll put the hazards on so I can show you this side and then I'll show you the other side and you can see the difference. So as you can see, that looks sick. And we go around to the other side. And this looks awful in comparison. So it's brighter, it looks more slick. And as you can see, like the headlights, they have a sequential in it. So why Ford didn't make it with one, I will never know. But it's night and day difference. It looks great. Um, I'm just gonna do the other side now, but I'll do that off camera. And then we'll get on to the next modification. Now let's talk aerials. So as you've probably seen the aerial stubbies, I'll show them on the screen. Now with the Mark 8 and the focuses and stuff, if you have this shark fin design, if you have a BMW, we do carbon fiber ones. But with the Fiesta and the Focus, we have this one. It's a black gloss shark fin, so it looks cool. It's like aerodynamic style, and it still actually has, it's got like tape, and you still actually get signal, which I'll show you as well. But it's a direct replacement, looks better, sticks straight down, and gives it a gloss black instead of a plasticky look. So it looks a lot nicer and you can run it without this part so it works it's a win-win so what we we'll do is unscrew this clean this up stick this down now just got to peel the tape off from underneath got a little screwed bolt and make sure the sensor's going through not the sensor, but the... Then make sure it's in place straight down. And then, just hold it for a little while so that it can stick down. So if you worry about radio signal, as you can see here, it's just been put on. on the That's FM. Don't want no copyright, so I can't do it for too long. No, nope, didn't do that. Try DAB out. Everything's fine. I can't leave it on for too long because I'll get copyrighted, but as you can see, the aerial is on. It looks a lot better. It just looks cooler. It's black gloss, so it matches better with the car. It's nice, it's clean. Grab one if you haven't already, or if you want just the stubby because your aerial's at the front of the car, we do the stubby as well. So, football lighting, our fifth and final one. One of the most important ones for me because I feel like football lighting does bring a lot of difference to a car. Now, these ones here, all you need a flat blade and just pry it down and it comes out but as you see standard they're not that bad they're not the end of the world don't get me wrong they are actually an led panel for once compared to the old ones where you usually have like a, a bulb or something so these are all right but they're not the brightest and they are like a, a light blue to match with the stitching now we do blue red all white pa panel lighting as you see this is a lot larger a lot larger service area and they're going to be a lot brighter so i'll plug this one in now it goes straight into these disconnector where this come where these two pins are exact same method this is a two pin as well so this will go straight into the plug don't need no connectors or nothing plug and play you stick it up and in and then i can give you a direct difference i'll leave the stock one in tonight so i can show you what this looks like and that looks like let's peel this off Tuck the cable up and then make sure you put it somewhere where you know you're not going to hit your foot on it. So as you can see, these lights are very, very brighter compared to stock. Like, they are literally gleaming and the stock ones just do nothing. So, if you're looking for a footwell upgrade, I recommend getting them. I think they do quite a lot, even though it's like just a bulb, well not bulb, it's just an LED panel. It brightens up the whole car, it makes it look a lot nicer and it depends if you're going for like a blue or red theme or what. And you can get it for a whole range of cars, even golf R's we're doing for and stuff like that. 
So if you're looking for that like little extra mod for an interior, it's definitely worth it. But I hope you've enjoyed this style of video of just like relatively low priced but very good value for money modifications that, that one small thing can change a lot like the carbon gear knob we've got the football lights we've got the steering wheel trim we've got the aerial and we've got the indicators and there's also a few more but i didn't put them in this video just because they're quite smaller so you've got like carbon key covers and stuff like that so if you're in the market for anything like i said make sure you check out b7 performance and uh yeah use that promo code new card to save yourself some money so please leave a comment down below what you'd like to see in the next video leave a like on the video Comment down below any ideas you had, like I said, for new videos. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Check out B7 Performance, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.